वेलकम बैक टू पैसा बोलता है पैसा बोलता है मैं फिर से आपका स्वागत है मैं आनंद श्रीनिवासन आज हम हॉट टैक्स करेंगे और मेरे भाई के साथ जो मिंट में न्यूज आया है उसके बारे में बात करेंगे और उससे मेरा राय मैं डेफिनेटली बोलूंगा झारखंड गवर्नमेंट इज गिविंग नॉट टू टाटा टू कंट्रोल पोर्शन ऑफ जमशेदपुर स्टेट दिस इज बीन लॉन्ग गोइंग केस फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम The fact remains that the constitution does not allow a city to be run by a private corporation unless it's notified as an industrial township. Hmm. So this fight has been once the 99 year lease ended, hmm. then there has been a problem over between who should do it. Hmm. The problem is if you have been to Jamshedpur, hmm. you will know which are the areas that Tata has control and which are the Tata areas, not non-Tata areas. Hmm. Basically, what will happen? The roads, the water, the city communities will change. So Tatas are uh, controlling it through a subsidy. Hmm. through which the utilities are mentioned hmm. they have been asking for permission for a portion of jamshedpur to be maintained by them hmm. and they have been suggesting that they will have a municipal corporation with hmm. the employed nominees of the government hmm. nominees of the citizens hmm. and nominees of the steel company hmm. and steel company will manage that uh, area hmm. the problem is if that happens the jharkhand government believes that the central government will cut off some areas of funding for them hmm. so there has been a going back and forth hmm. and then there is also a particular pa hmm. filed by a jamshedpur resident hmm. which says that this uh, case cannot be the the tata should not get control of jamshedpur hmm. now at the end of the day there was nothing in jamshedpur in 19 over 125 years back when the steel plant came up there is an empty forest there is an empty forest at all hmm. so in the middle of the forest they started that building they cleared the forest put the trains and they did everything hmm. and uh, the entire city has been built on the steel mill these are india's first steel mills hmm. and then there is of course the tata motors factory the entire city runs on these two pillars hmm. and uh, now the central it has to go to the central government the central government has to give permission hmm. if the central government gives a permission there will be challenges in court but it will be they will start to run finally what the government would like to do is they want to run it but tata has to fund the bill hmm. tata is saying if we fund it we control it hmm. so that is the issue hmm. so but i think a better sense has prevailed because the company has more money mm. to provide the basic uh, amenities that the citizen requires mm. and uh, in his will the original founder j n tata laid out how the city should be built and uh, what should be there in the city mm. and by and large that was followed so there is a emotional connection between the house of tatas and jamshedpur and uh, the city is named after their founder was also your city and you grew uh, up there yeah. I know that's why I have uh, emotional connect for you also not only the tata my father spent a lot of time there he was very hello. young yes you hello he was very young you're a newborn baby running around in diapers there. yes exactly there are some old photographs many old oh, photographs should yeah. we embarrass them and putting them no, up on you can but uh, of me playing in jubilee park yes but uh, the point is the city is well run yes especially the quarters where the employees steel city employees stay mm. and where their retired employees stay mm. these are well maintained so i hope uh, method uh, is found for this to for this to be cleared okay rbi cuts off lenders from loan evergreening via aifs that means so alternative investment funds so basically what was happening is hmm. accounts would turn npa hmm. and those npa accounts would be interest would be serviced hmm. by just keeping zumbi companies alive hmm. so before what used to happen is one bank would lend to another bank's npa Hmm. and uh, the interest would be serviced and the rotation would go on hmm. rajan put an end to it in his uh, times hmm. so what these guys did is they used to borrow money from alternate investment funds hmm. and keep rotating it and keep it alive hmm. musical chair musical chair hmm. now the rbi has gone one step higher very correctly hmm. so you cannot take money from the alternate investment funds hmm. as loan hmm. and pay off the service the interest hmm. and the bank again pays you back hmm. so basically these are uh, Uh, companies which need to die mm. that is the banks have given them loans the equity is wiped out mm. and therefore uh, there is a big problem mm. so these companies have no right to exist because they they cannot make an existing profit mm. and there is no hope of turn around mm. the banks want to keep it alive because they don't want to write the npa correct so next bank manager can take the, the next bank manager can take kick the, the can kick the can mm. 
most of these problems are in the public sectors, yes. not in the private sectors. Yes. And so this kicking can keeps okay. going around. Yes. Why should I disturb my pension? Why should I disturb my pension? Hmm. The next man can disturb his pension. Hmm. So this is what happens. Hmm. Google to pay 700 million in Play App Store settlement case. So you think this is the right thing for Google to do to close the chapter on this, settle it off and allow more competition in the Play App? I think this is the way it is going. Hmm. And it may not actually happen uh, in markets like India, but it will definitely happen in markets in uh, Australia, Europe and uh, United States. Hmm. And if the uh, internet has to be a level playing field, hmm. the dominance of Google Play Store and Apple I Store has to end. Hmm. They also got recently hammered. There's been a trending thing happening that Gemini video which they released. There's some video which was edited very heavily and doctored very heavily, they said. And people have come out criticizing, saying it's actually their Gemini is not so Gemini. And it's not anyway, we bit. will be, we will come to know because hmm. as they, they keep releasing it to the public hmm. that's when we will be the brown ring test as you say we'll all take it and see and see if the brown ring is if coming or not. not yeah now chat gpt to an extent you are seeing the brown ring yes so finally the test of the pudding is yes in eating it yes so how many people are willing to use and willing to pay willing so, to pay for Gemini yeah. will decide whether Gemini succeeds or not. IMF has reclassified Indian forex regime as stabilized from being floating. What does this mean? Okay. And what? India has strongly disagreed. India will disagree. Hmm. What it means is basically hmm. you you are not allowing the rupee to float freely. Hmm. You are managing the rupee. Hmm. How do you manage the rupee? By buying and selling in the forex market. So the RBI is the most active player in the foreign exchange market where it buys and sells rupees. Both both in spot and in futures. You sell, buy in the futures, sell in the spot. You sell in the spot, buy in the futures, depending on how you want the currency to move. Mm. So they have managed to keep the currency in a very tight corner, neither allowing it to appreciate nor depreciate. Mm. So this is what he says, this is stabilized arrangement and not as a free float. Mm. And this is what IMF has said, mm. as usual, and any government would design, uh, deny it mm. that they are interfering. Mm. There is no doubt that Reserve Bank is definitely interfering with the forex market mm. and also the restrictions mm. that have been announced by the government. Mm. The, before so this crisis came, mm. you had free transfer of money abroad. Mm. What this government did, it first introduced a 5% tax, mm. then it introduced a 20% punitive tax. Mm. If you say, it says for 7 lakhs, mm. 7 lakhs is less than $10,000. Mm. So if I want to send $10,000 abroad, Mm. Uh, $1,000 is 80000 Correct. So, less than $10,000. If I send $9,000, I have to pay a 20% tax. Correct. So, that is another punitive. Yes. So and you should tell people this when they want, keep on saying, I want to invest in US market, US market. So, yeah. anything more than 7 lakhs, you will have to pay a tax of 20%. Correct. And that is, you will collect it only after one year. Yes. So, makes it extremely difficult. Yes. So, if you are keen on investing in US markets, please keep this in mind. Especially when we you don't get carried away with us talking about US market. Please analyze the cost implications before you decide. Exporters face rising costs because of the Suez Canal problem with uh, Yemen supporting Palestinians. What okay. do you think about that? See, the Suez Canal and the Red Sea. Yes, mainly is that. The main sea is the main thing is the Red Sea. Yes. There are Houdini rebels in Yemen. Yes. Who don't like Saudi. In the Red Sea is basically between Saudi and uh, Africa. Yes, and Egypt, Egypt. Yes, Sudan. Egypt. Yes, the, the tip. The, the con, yeah. con, and it go, leads to the Suez Canal via Egypt. Yes. The Houthini. The Houthis. The Houthis have attacked the ships. Trying to cross that narrow gap. Trying to cross the Red Sea. Which means that now Enter the, the, Red sea. the insurance companies will not uh, insure those stocks. Yes. And shipping companies hmm. have st stopped using that route. Hmm. That means it's going to take 30% more time. Hmm. Transit is going to take 30% more time. Hmm. And is also going to spend... Uh, yeah, because you have to go all around Africa now. Not only will you go all around Africa, hmm. it takes time and expense. Hmm. So your shipping costs will also increase. Hmm. And at the same time, what will happen is your uh, hmm. time to shipment will also increase. Hmm. So you let the goods have to spend more time on the transit. Hmm. Suppose it was taking hmm. two weeks to go from India to US hmm. through the Red Sea. True. It has to go through round Africa and go. Hmm. So it will take uh, four weeks. Correct. Your logistics, everything goes out of The logistics goes out of TOS. Your production goes out of TOS. Yeah, because nowadays 
our supply chains are so tightly your fine tuned supply chain goes for a toss therefore your cost of finance goes for a toss because you need to keep inventory yes. for a longer period of okay. time all this will fuel more inflation all will fuel more inflation okay wall street is forced by fed to rethink 2024 bond yields the epic slide of the treasury yields suddenly unleashed the last week by the fed reserve forced many wall street strategists to jettison the old forecast of 2024 but uh, dissent still lingers between bulls and bears what do you think about that well the market has fallen from 5 to 3.9 hmm. there has been a 22% fall in yields hmm. that means there is a big rally in the bond market yes so people like pershing square shorted the bond market hmm. closed it at the right time and went long at the right time hmm. so those who have already made money have made money hmm. especially the hedge funds hmm. but um, we do not know hmm. we do not know whether the last leg of in- inflation hmm. core inflation from 3.5 to 2 hmm. whether it will drop like a cliff yeah or whether it will descend slowly slowly yes the, normally the last bit is the most difficult yes so most painful most painful and the world has taken a lot of things in its stride hmm. you think that the soviet the, the, the russian ukrainian war will continue hmm. it will not affect anything and this israeli palestinian thing will not spread in middle east and create it anything will, it will not create anything everything positive positive everything is positive then yes. there is always the trump factor yes so the world is discounting lot of bad news yes this is primarily because there's lot of money sloshing around yes while interest rates have gone up hmm. the fed's balance sheet has not shrunk enough correct so if the balance sheet st- was has shrunk by only 1 trillion hmm. they were supposed to shrink by 2 or 3 trillion hmm. so if the which they stopped shrinking hmm. when the banks went for Hmm. when two three banks went bankrupt yes if they decide to continue shrink the bank and sheet faster hmm. then you will see more pain hmm. yeah retail investors in top gear at ipo drive uh, drive uh, over subscriptions meaning there's people are just going around everything no, no, in any sundry is being subscribed no no rising tide lifts everybody yes and the tide is continuously rising hmm. so and uh, there is a good news hmm. because the americans are going to keep giving money hmm. so money is not at come to the startup side of it hmm. but money is definitely flowing into the hmm. indian equity market and the bond market hmm. how so, so the markets are buoyant hmm. and so the retail investors who have tested success in ipo hmm. think that every ipo is going to be make money buy and sell buy and sell so buy and sell hmm. it's like an electric train where the gates have been opened the railroad crossing has been opened up hmm. so everybody thinks the next train is not going to come hmm. we can snatch our money and come back hmm. till sun monday when uh, a lot of people get Get hurt and then again people will realize oh, yeah. that it is painful. Yes. Until another generation comes. Who is this, who's, who doesn't remember it? Who doesn't remember it? Okay. What about this thing of Blackstone exiting the embassy right for 883-33 million? Embassy retail REIT is a Indian REIT. Correct. Very big I've, one. Yeah, and I have always been saying that REITs are not very profitable in India. Hmm. It was companies like Blackstone which hmm. which helped to keep this extra REIT in very high numbers. Hmm. So Blackstone is now selling out. for a profit of 830 mm. they are selling out on the indian real estate mm. indian real estate deals are very poor mm. Mm. tv ad volumes declined by 4% year on second quarter hindustan lever and uh, record beginster remain the top advertisers throughout 2023 but but the decline yeah. is quite significant 4% no, no, but there was a world cup mm. so if i discount the world but cup the decline is even huger the decline is huger mm. uh, what i'm trying to say is viewership has changed mm. viewership has gone to youtube which is the biggest ott platform yes for news Hmm. and for um, content entertainment content it has moved to hmm. ott like netflix and others hmm. because it makes great sense hmm. the difference between tv and ott is hmm. uh, i can watch the movie when i want to hmm. the television channel controls when i can see a movie yes whereas in a ott i decide when to see a movie how long i see a movie yes and so that's a greater control Yes, and sharing and also. Sharing also possible. Yeah. And if I'm willing to pay money, mm. then there will be a. If I'm willing to pay some subscription, mm. I can even leave the. I don't even have news uh, advertise pesky advertisements coming. Mm. But if I want to pay less, mm. then I can even bear the advertisement. Mm. So TV as a medium mm. is dead, and, uh, and it is it's a slow like newspapers mm. is a slow death. Mm. We are relics of the past reading paper on print. Mm. but actually now everybody reads it on the on the device device hmm. and they want it free they don't want to pay for it true and to finish off since we spoke about world cup the ipl aussie sparkling in the mega deals and ipl launch something a fun a lot of money yes. has changed hands hmm. and it went into what is your opinion on this something for the viewers to chew on when we end on something yeah. fun 
Okay. Uh, I was very worried about my team that is the Chennai Super Kings. Hmm. I thought last time it was very unbalanced. Hmm. But we still managed to do well. Hmm. This time I think we have got uh, exciting talent. Three we get in fact. Hmm. I think that Rachin Ravindra is a good find. Hmm. And uh, he that's the New Zealander. He can bowl a bit. Hmm. But Dhiran Mitchell is the big guy. He can hit and he can bowl. Hmm. And uh, the biggest is of course Saeed Rizvi. Hmm. Normally we don't uh, we don't pick uh, the Dhoni doesn't buy those kind of deals. No. Very big. Uh, he didn't buy Tilak Varma or Rinku Singh or SSP Jaiswal. Hmm. And he stuck to Rituraj Gaikwad. Hmm. So he could be the next Suresh Raina. Hmm. He hits it clean as a whistle. Hmm. And they are very uh, hmm. happy with his six hitting powers. Hmm. And also that the Lord Thakur, uh, they call him Lord Thakur. Hmm. And he has a, he can do a bit with the ball, a bit with the bat. Hmm. And pick up wickets when you require. Hmm. We didn't beat eight cross and uh, we lost him to KKR. Hmm. KKR when we took him back for four cross. Hmm. So I think it's a well-rounded team for the hmm. Chennai Super Kings. Hmm. Uh, only thing I don't know how to pick a level now. Because everything looks That's a good, good problem to have. It's a good problem. Last time uh, there were one or two weak. At least the fast bowling was a weak area. Hmm. But now you have Thakur, uh, Prata, that uh, Sri Lankan fast bowler, Paritana. Hmm. And uh, if Chahar is fit, he is perpetually unfit. Hmm. And you have Mukesh Chaudhary. Hmm. So you have four fast bowlers. Hmm. Some backup, but four fast bowlers you have mm. and the batting is very strong in the sense that uh, you have uh, Rituraj, Devan Conde, Ravindra, Mitchell, mm. you have um, Ravinder Jadeja, the all-rounder and uh, Mohin Ali and the great Dhoni himself. If you have this video, you will be able to watch this video. If you can, like this video, subscribe to the channel and press the bell notification. If you don't press the bell notification, you will not get the notification when we upload a new video. If you can, send this video to your friends and friends and friends. Namaskar, Dhaniyabad, Jai Hind. Jai Hind. Namaskar, then you say, I am your friend. Yes, yes. 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 Yes, मुझे ट्रिवेंड्रम में मिलना चाहता है नीचे दिए हुए जीमेल में ट्रिवेंड्रम एम पी एट जी मेल डॉट कॉम में मेल भेजें और या नीचे दिए गए व्हाट्सएप नंबर में हमें संपर्क करें धन्यवाद